Hey designers, what's going on? My name is FimeMD and I'm a senior product designer in Toronto and today we are going to talk about Disney Plus. Very great platform. If you guys have not registered, go ahead and do it. It's not a sponsored video whatsoever. I have been using this uh, platform for two months now and yo, I've been on it more than Netflix to be honest. I feel like they have a great content. I'm a huge fan of Marvel, so they have a great selection of Marvel. All the Marvel cinematic uh, movies from top to bottom, all here. And um, if you're someone who do not know what Disney Plus is, it's pretty much like any streaming platform like Netflix, Amazon, Prime Video. Same concept, but this is more towards Disney Plus content. And they have a lot of selections here, such as Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars. Having to use this platform for over two months, I feel like Disney Plus has done a tremendous job in terms of user experience, providing content, categorizing it, and having it easy to explore new content, which such as movies and TV show. Majority of the competitive research, uh, you can tell it's through Netflix. And obviously they've visited other platforms as well, but let's be honest, Netflix is the best platform are out there aside from Disney Plus right now. Like they're killing it. I recently did a small UX design tweak, which I did in, in Adobe XD and I uploaded it on InVision. And I'm going to show you guys the change, the, well, the minor tweaks that I've made, which can help enhance the user experience in Disney Plus and how it can keep users more engaged. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so before we get started, I'm a little bit uh, tired right now. For the last couple of days, I've been really tired. No idea why, so I'm gonna do my extreme best, extreme best. I'm gonna do my very best to explain uh, my UX in Disney Plus. This project, or this project that I've taken on by myself is a great example for fresh designers. Designers who have just graduated from school as a UX UI designer or have taken an online certified course from uh, Linda, Udemy, and you know, these other platforms. But now the problem is you guys do not know what to include in your portfolio. If I was a fresh designer this year around this time, this is the type of work that I would include in my portfolio to get a job and a real life experience. It's not always about, you know, who can design the best app in terms of only UI. It's not it's not only about that. Our main priority as a designer is to fix a problem. That's it. So, and from there, we have to break it down and pretty much, you know, provide that solution. So watching this video will definitely help you guys out. The more skills or experience you have in terms of actually solving a problem, the better chances of you a getting a job and also a higher paid salary. I cannot stress this enough. Product design is not about designing something fancy. That's not it. If that was the case, YouTube would have had the best design in the, in the world. And they don't because they really focus in the problem and then they provide that solution with you know user testing, um, conducting user service and, and et cetera. Whew. So having said that, this right here is something that I faced while using uh, Disney Plus and I watched Disney Plus on my TV in my living room as you've seen earlier on. So here is a problem that I faced and there are actually two. So let's talk about number one. Number one is this right here is a screenshot of Disney Plus. So I didn't design anything of this. I only made a small tweak of it. Okay. So Disney Plus, you guys did it, not me. When I click on uh, trailer, uh, CTA. CTA is call to action, in other words, button. But if you're working with uh, with a team of designers and you want to sound professional or I'm educated, call it CTA. And if they say, what is CTA? Then you're going to be like, all right. Okay. Okay. The door is right there, sir. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so let's, let's call it CTA, which is the right term for it. So when I click in the trailer, right? When I click right here, what happens is it, it meets, it miss leads me to what I'm about to watch. So for example, users expect to watch a trailer of the movie or TV show, instead it's a clip. 
and this is a small diagram that I did and moving forward is the solution able to provide trailers in Disney plus movies or TV show are not possible and what I mean by that is some of the movies are 10 years old and those days it was probably HD 720 quality and nowadays it's 1080p and 4k therefore the quality is you know 720 it's it's it's, it's very low nowadays and that is why they provide a small clip of it which is totally fine but the way to um i feel like my hap my hypothesis in this um in this theory is that the ones that do not include trailer the cta should be named to preview which is right and that's what i did so i went on their website i firebugged it and I renamed it to preview, took a snapshot, uh, took a snapshot of that and pasted it here. Um, this way it will indicate the users that it is a small preview clip of the movie or TV show. Moving right along is uh, an example that I placed in my design, renamed to preview as you can see right here. And then this is the final design. Also keep in mind, I did not redesign the CTA into my own liking. I went on the browser, I right clicked, Firebug did, and removed the name trailer and, and typed preview. Took a, took a whole screenshot of this and placed it here. The reason why I did this is because they have a design system. Reinventing a design system is one of the worst thing you can do as a designer because it will throw off the existing users from using your your platform that's also a great key to have or to remember when you are a designer all right now number two last but not least so when i'm watching this preview called clip here it doesn't engage me to watch the movie now because when someone is is this close to watching a clip of the movie which is a uh, deadpool obviously they're now interested to watch that movie there's a there's a higher chance of that I'm guessing it's more than 40%. And the only way to go back and to watch that movie, this is what you have to do. You have to click on the back button here. You come back to the dead post main page, click play, and then you're watching the movie. And I feel like that's one of the worst way to keep a users engaged because now that users have to click a lot in order to get what they want. And this, and this is a very common mistake for any company, any designers. I even make mistakes like these. The only way I was able to discover this solution is because by using the platform. That is why user testing is very important. Using data to enhance the user performance of the product that you are working on. So therefore, there's no quick solution to keep users engaged to watch this movie after viewing the preview. And that's exactly what I mentioned here. And then, you know, you gotta click on the back button in Deadpool and then you have to click play. This may cause users to lose interest. Moving forward, what I came up with based on the competitive research that I've done is able to provide a quick CTA eight or 10 seconds before the end of the preview. This will allow users to stay engaged in the platform. So this is what I have designed. I did a custom design on this. And the way I came up with the CTA here was when you watch a TV show, let's say Simpsons, they have a CTA here while the credits are loading. So I copied this exact CTA here and placed it into my design. This is not copy pasting, by the way, if you guys are thinking, it's 100% not. It's me using their existing design, which is part of the design system into their platform, which is 100% safe and that is the right thing to do. When you're working with a large corporation like Disney Plus, always ask them in the interview, hey, do you guys have a design system? If they do, that's great. All right, now moving forward, this is what I've, I have placed in my design. I have a small, cute, cute arrow pointing thingy. As you can see here, eight seconds before this clip ends, I have displayed a CTA right here, which will pop up whether on an app, TV or desktop, whatever you are watching it. And this is here, and this right here is the final product. So the movie will automatically, will start in eight, seven. That's how it will animate. Six, I think uh, Netflix does that. And also, as you can see, Disney Plus does it as well. And Amazon Prime and other platforms, they do it. Cause I feel like for an uh, online streaming platform, that has become an industry standard now. So where it says movie starts in eight, it will go to eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then boom, the movie is now playing. Therefore, the users, they don't have to lift their remote, they don't have to use their mouse, anything. It just automatically uh, transitions them to still stay engaged in the platform and watch the movie and so on and so forth. This is this right here is a small um, information of the background based on the designs that I've done. My user uh, research consisted of two things. One is the competitive research. I visited Netflix, Prime Video, Crunchyroll, and Tubi. These are the ones, these platforms that I personally use in monthly basis. People that tested out this, this project, or sorry, people, like I said, man, I'm so tired. Please forgive me. The users that have tested this platform are me and my friend Sam, and these are the small information, age, gender, occupation, city, hobbies, and interests. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to upload this, or actually I already have uploaded on my Envision, so go ahead and check it out. If you want, you can copy this type of design style into your portfolio. Be sure to um, design a cute wireframe. I don't know why, man. Like companies are now, some companies are looking for it. I will be taking a picture of, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick picture of this and apply it in Behance or part of my, uh, right, right here. So this, this is a small wireframe that I drew out uh, for this platform. One is the first problem, another one is the second problem. And I'm going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to upload this in, in Behance for fun and send it out to the VP of uh, product and see what he says. All right, so there you have it. A small tweak that I have made a platform that I use daily basis. Yeah, a platform that I use definitely daily basis. A small UX tweak that I've made. Being a product designer, it's not always about redesigning everything. It's about finding, you know, it's about solving a problem that could be very small of what I did today. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of, uh, platforms out there it's all they only focus about UI daily challenge and that's great man obviously you have to be a great designer I get that UI part I understand it's good but how smooth is your user experience and that is the reason why Netflix is Netflix people love using it this is why people keep going back to Amazon every single day to buy anything I will scroll a thousand feeds on TikTok and Instagram you know why because it's easy and that is our job Whew. Oh my God, that came from the heart and I'm really tired, but if you have came this far, thank you so much. Please like the video. It will help my content, like today's video get discovered more on YouTube because that is just how YouTube works. And if you're new on this channel, well, thank you for watching. Subscribe, join the family. And uh, if you do not know, I have a Discord channel now. I think it's about 110 people that I've joined so far. So thank you guys for joining. And uh, it's a great personal community to join a design family where everybody can learn at the same time. Everything there is free. There's going to be a UX daily challenge. We're going to do deep dives like this. And obviously there's going to be UI challenges as well. Uh, also a group one-on-one, -on -one, not group one-on-one. -on -one. You see how tired I am? A group meeting on what on the problems that you guys are facing, could be resume, portfolio, interview skills, or just to even just hang out and like talk to each other and make friends, right? So those things are happening in Discord, and obviously there's a lot more, uh, books to buy, what not to do, you know, etc. things like that. So go ahead, join that, the link for that is below. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. My name is Fahim MD, and, I, and I'm a senior product designer with 13 years of experience. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I think I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> okay, all right. Do I look really that tired? Oh my God. All right guys, peace out.